Why are my cardiologist not recommending vasomedetic EECP? When a cardiac patient discuss with her cardiologist about their option for the heart disease, the cardiologist will discuss with the patient in detail about the options which are available to them. Either it is a medical management or he may say that your disease is beyond medical management and then you have to undergo for angioplasty or sometimes they may even discuss that angioplasty is not a possibility, probably you might have to undergo a bypass surgery. But many times this cardiologist fail to discuss or ignore there is a new option called enhanced external counterpulsation. The reason is the cardiologists are trained throughout their curriculum on grafting and stenting. Not many cardiologists are exposed to this new treatment called enhanced external counterpulsation during their curriculum. EECP is a newer concept which gained its acceptance even into the guideline of American College, European Society and all this occurs only recently in 2014 and 15 which raises a significant recommendation that any cardiologist when they discuss with their patient should able to discuss EECP also as an another available option to treat their heart disease. If they don't discuss EECP, EECP as an option then there is a bias towards non-invasive option available for the patients. Since EECP is new many of these cardiologists might not have read about EECP into their curriculum or mostly they would not have seen the benefit by themselves. So it might take some more time that EECP to reach all the cardiologists that they can confidently discuss with you. But now there are enough evidence which is already available and I think EECP should be an option for heart patient if they are not willing for bypass surgery and angioplasty.